Let's take a look now at another requirement for a successful bundle and that is packaging. Now with your gift bundles or theme type bundles, you do need to put in some effort to your packaging because this is what will help to differentiate you from other people and to help prevent people from copying you and it will also help to get you a lot of good reviews as well. Now here's an example. This is a bundle we looked at there in the last lecture. It's a, a gardening starter kit. Everything goes inside the tote bag and then the tote bag will be inside a poly bag as well just to protect it. But basically the bag is part of the bundle but it's also being used as the packaging. Now this, believe it or not, this is doing, according to FBA Toolkit, this is doing 38 sales a day. And that is at the moment, I mean, we are in the autumn, we're coming into winter now. So the sales of this will be dropping off for sure. But I would imagine that in the spring and the summer, this was doing a lot more than 38 sales a day. And this is an example of a very simple bundle that's doing very well. Now, even if this seller is only making, say, $4 profit on each bundle that he sells, so we're still talking about, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, $150, $200 a day profit, and a lot more in the spring and the summer. Now, this is a kind of, this is one of the care package bundles that we've been talking about that people send to, say, students, or could even send to a relative as well. So everything just goes inside a plain cardboard box. But if you have a logo sticker on the outside, that is actually going to help to stop people from copying you as well. And just to go back a minute here. With this inside a poly bag, you can still put a logo sticker on the poly bag. Now, this is a gift bundle, newborn baby, newborn baby boy in this case and this is using a wicker basket. So everything will go inside the wicker basket. Presentation is extremely important. We are going to talk more about presentation later, but everything goes inside the wicker basket and then it will be inside a poly bag, probably tied with a gift ribbon. And this would be relatively easy for somebody to copy unless you have something unique on the packaging. So again, this is where you can use logo stickers. You could even have some kind of tag tied to the basket with your logo on it. Now, so far we've looked at plain boxes. So this is for a convenience type of bundle. And this is also a convenience bundle, but it could be used as a gift as well. This, this could be a gift bundle too, but mainly it's a convenience bundle. It's just inside the tote bag, inside a plain cardboard box. This is a gift bundle, so this needs to look like a gift when it's actually delivered and received by the recipient. This is also a gift bundle, and this is inside a very simple gift box. They've used shredded paper as the padding, as the filling for the box, so that the it looks nice and it's nicely presented and these things don't roll around. And on the outside of the box, they've got a logo sticker. This is a convenience bundle, it's a tent kit and everything just goes inside this mesh carry bag and then the mesh carry bag inside a poly bag. So these mesh bags are actually pretty good as well for packaging. Now components inside your bundle, they shouldn't be able to fall out or move around too much and this is especially true of your gift bundles. So for packaging, the inside to actually keep it keep everything from moving around. You can use shredded paper, um, scrunched up brown paper. This is something that Amazon uses now, which is pretty good. It's just it's very sort of rough, quite thick brown paper, and it's just scrunched up and squashed in with the items inside the box to stop them moving around. Now you can use a bubble wrap to protect fragile items. There is also these plastic air pillows that you may have seen. These are pretty good for packaging as well. You can use craft tissue paper stuff. Um, you can use a poly bag tied tightly together and you can also use ribbon which can be put around a poly bag. There's also these styrofoam packing peanuts. I absolutely recommend against using those things. They will probably affect your reviews because consumers generally don't like them, especially well, they're annoying as well, okay, because they go all over the place. 
when you're unpacking the products but also with you know many consumers are now getting more and more environmentally friendly and these uh, styrofoam packing peanuts seems to be one of the worst things that you can use but the same applies to plastic as well so if you want to be more environmentally conscious you definitely should stick to more paper kind of padding and packaging and this is definitely going to help your reviews a bit because it'll prevent the odd negative review for using like too much plastic or or from using these packing peanuts Amazon used to use those packing peanuts. It used to drive me crazy and it used to really annoy me that a big company like that should actually use something that is so uh, detrimental to the environment. But fortunately now, at least anything that comes over here to Ireland that I order, they use the scrunched up brown paper, which is fine. All right, see you in a minute in the next lecture.